Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about networking via Oracle's VirtualBox. As you can see here in front of you, there are several different modes of networking when you're working with virtual machines and also the machines on your network. And I'm going to describe to you why you'd want to choose each one of these. Before I get into the different modes of networking on VirtualBox, just a few words on the structure of the network I'm going to use as an example. Should be fairly self-explanatory. However, we have the internet, which is connected to what is likely a home router. On this router, we have two devices connected. The first is a desktop, and the second is a laptop. Now, these are connected via uh, wireless, which is suggested by the dotted line, and wired, which is suggested by the solid line. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter so much how these are connected, uh, just for demonstration purposes. On the desktop, uh, we have VirtualBox installed, and within VirtualBox we have three virtual machines, and these could be running any number of different operating systems. The first option that we have on the list is NAT. Now what NAT does is it creates a segregated network which comprises of the host machine and one and only one virtual machine. Now this virtual machine will be able to access the internet through utilizing the network card of the host here. However, what we cannot do here, unless we set up a service such as port forwarding, the virtual machine here, here, and the laptop here will not be able to access or see anything on this virtual machine here. Where is this useful? Well, one option is if you have, uh, say, family photos and a service which can, uh, which can serve those photos over the network, we can set that up on this machine. We can port forward to that service on that machine and then these other three machines will be able to see those photos. However, anything else that's done on this virtual machine will be hidden within this network. Next up, we have NAT Network. Now, NAT Network is very similar to NAT in many ways, with the major difference being that instead of having a network for purely one virtual machine and the host, we have a network that can comprise of any number of different virtual machines and they can all see each other and interact with each other without uh, anything like port forwarding. Um, they can also all access the internet as well. Now, if we actually looked at the router and the desktop and the laptop, which would be your standard home networking setup, the function that VirtualBox is performing here with NAT is the same as what the router is doing with the desktop and the laptop. Third on the list, we have the bridged network mode. And what this does is it sets up the virtual machines as if they were physical computers on the router network which is why on the router we have 192.168.1. something and the virtual machines also share that 192.168.1. something and so all of these machines here the laptop desktop and the virtual machines all look to each other like they're on this one network the host only networking mode may look at first glance to be very similar to that network. However, there is one significant difference in that these virtual machines are only accessible to the host machine here. You would not be able to access them via this laptop or any other device on this network. So this is a really good mode to use if you wish these machines to interact with each other for uh, testing purposes and you do not wish them to interfere with any other machine on the network. With the internal network option, 
This is the only network option where we cannot actually access the internet from these virtual machines. These three virtual machines will be able to see each other. They will either need to be set to static IP addresses or else one of them will need to act as a DHCP server. However, this network is unable to communicate with the host adapter here and therefore there is no way to get a route out to the internet. And likewise, they will also not be able to access any other machine on the network system here.